What's up YouTube, that's it here, bringing you guys another set of battles featuring my Mega Charizard X team. I got a couple complaints of using the Scrafty Venusaur lead way too much and people want more flashy combos. So for these next two games, we're going to be using Charizard Terrakion leads and going for the Psych Up Dragon Dance combo. In the first game of the day, we're going to be winning off against Dumiki VGC who has uh, Amoongus, Talonflame, Mamoswine, Mawile, Noivern who is one of my personal favorite picks right now, and Greninja. Bunch of Pokemon that can have stashes, and a couple Pokemon are very predictable items like uh, like Talonflame and... Well, I wouldn't say Talonflame's item is predictable. We're going to get into that this game, but I just had a feeling that I knew its item. And I don't want to give away any spoilers, guys, so we're just going to start this game off getting into it. We lead off with Charizard and Terrakion, the power play. Now, my opponent has an Intimidator in the Mobile here, but I just didn't feel that it was going to be a lead. So we see the Talonflame, right? Talonflame and Mamoswine. When I see a lead like this... I'm thinking, alright, he has EQ, and he probably, I would say that's a wall talent flame, because his team doesn't only have a Tailwind setter, and a Tailwind would be really good here. So since I expected the Tailwind, I was thinking, if he has the Charity Berry, this is going to get ugly. So I just go for the Rock Slide, and of course he has the Charity Berry, it's going to cut that super effective rock damage in half, and luckily, luckily for me, I flinched that Mammoth Swarm with a Rock Slide, or else this game would not be any good. I probably would have lost right there. So flinching the Mammoth Swine is huge. And now that my Charizard is uh, Mega X and he knows that the cat's out of the bag, I was really expecting the Earthquake here, so I protect with Charizard. Luckily, he went for the nuke on that slot. My Trakion is going to survive with its Sash, and we see the Life Orb on the Mammoth Swine, which means, obviously, the Sash is somewhere else. I'm thinking maybe it's on Noivern, maybe it's on Greninja. I don't really know yet, but finishing off the Talonflame is definitely what I need to do, need to, do to start snowballing this game. So we see the Noivern come in, I know that I have a plus one speed on my Charizard, but I'm thinking maybe I'm faster than Mamoswine with a plus one, even though my opponent does have a Tailwind up. Looks like I'm actually not faster, and he's going to get that Earthquake off, finishing off both of my Pokemon to give the, him the lead in the 3-2 category. And now that Mamoswine is so low, and I'm having to set up my last two Pokemon, I can pretty much let the Y Forb take himself down. So I sent out Scrafty. And also wearing an Intimidate onto that Mamoswine means that he's going to be doing even less damage than normal. I'm pretty sure the, letting him die to the Life Orb is probably the correct choice. So I fake out the Noivern, and I'm thinking maybe the Noivern has a Sash, that's why I fake out of that slot. While we see the Mamoswine go for the Ice Shard, not really doing that much. We fake out the Noivern, and we're going to let the Sunny Day go off with my Venusaur, which is just what I need to start snowballing the game back in my favor. The same turn the Tailwind peters out. So Venusaur has a huge lead right now, going for the Sludge Bomb. Getting the poison, I didn't really want to go for the sleep powder. Missing that would have cost me the game. And consequently, he misses a hurricane, which is going to come back to bite him. As the same turn, he goes for a rock slide, and he's going to take himself out with the life orb. The score is evened up two Pokemon apiece. He has a poison Noivern that's actually gone. My bad. I forgot the scratch slide to attack. We are knocking off the choice specs. That's the reason why those, that hurricane did so much damage to my Charizard. Also, remember the reason why he missed that hurricane? was because uh, I think Hurricane's accuracy is reduced in the sun, if I'm not mistaken. I know Thunderous is, it would make sense if Hurricane is, but anyways, it's Mega Mawile versus the world, and this kind of takes a little while to finish off, but you guys can see how this goes. There's no way a Mawile is going to be able to grind out both of these Pokemon, especially when the Venusaur can put it to sleep. Venusaur doesn't really have any moves that can check Mawile per se, but Giga Drain does do small chip damage, and Mawile has no Drain Punch or anything physical forms of recovery, so even though he's like waking up and protecting every couple turns, this game is pretty much over. It, I think this whole game really did come down to the Rock Slide flinch on the Mamoswine turn 1. I was just getting such a strong vibe of the Charity Berry on Talonflame, and of, of course it would have it. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad item on Talonflame, I just looked at his team and saw there was, other than a Moongus, there's no main tank, and it, since Tailwind is so good for his team, I think the Charity Berry is probably the perfect item on his talent plan. So, Mawile's struggle ended not even being able to attack me, and uh, I ended up winning the game, which was very surprising. So, pretty good stuff. Uh, Charizard got rocked, but it's fine. Totally misjudged the speed tiering with that. I, I, if that was a full HP Mammoth one, I think that might have been faster at plus one, because my Charizard is jolly, it is super fast, but I'm rambling. We're going to get on to game two, and we're going to see my team on the top right this time. This is the first time I have a replay for you guys of me on the top right, leading off against Jose DBZ. This is a fellow YouTuber. I can probably link his channel in the description, but he's testing a cool combo team, which has Malamar, Superior, 
Ooh, what is that thing? This thing right here. I do not know what the thing is called. We're going to see. No, I don't think the thing sends it out. It doesn't matter what that is. A Charizard, a Drift Blim, and a Rotom Wash. What is this Pokemon? This It's not Pachirisu. It's not uh, Emolga. It's a fairy type. I do not remember what this thing is called, and that is going to bug me all day. I don't really care. We're just going to start the game up. We're going to start it up. He's going to lead off with Malamar, and I think he weeds Rotom Wash as well to accompany it. So, pretty good weeds. Uh, checking my weeds. Well, you'll, you'll get into it. These Pokemon both have super effective uh, moves to use against my weeds, but that doesn't mean the game's going to end that way. We're going to start off going into Mega Charizard X, gaining the... Uh, Dragon typing and going for the Dragon Ants first turn. We're going for the combo this game. And Trakion immediately is going to psych it up. Remember, my Trakion is adamant, so it's slower than my Jolly Charizard. We're going to see the Malamar go for a Rock Slide. This is on Charizard, not, the, not really the biggest of deals. And then we're going to see Rotom go for a Miss Hydro Pump on Charizard. So he's like, oh man, I can't believe I missed all those moves. It didn't really matter. Rotom's Hydro Pump wouldn't have done that much. Uh, missing the Rock Slide probably would have took me down to about that much HP. The most it would have done was not let me use Flare Blitz that turn. And so we're going to get the KO on the Malamar, and then the plus one Tarakion going to slam that close combat, getting a KO on the Rotom Wash. So right from the start, turn two, we got the combo. We are snowballing this game like crazy. Superior is going to come out, and Charizard's going to come out. So Charizard, Charizard of, eh, Charizard of uh, their own for my opponent, and he's going to activate his Mega Stone. going to go Charizard Y, giving me Sun for my Charizard to be so much stronger in. Gonna pop a Protect with a Superior to stop my Flare Blitz. That would have been the biggest one-shot of all time, I think. While his Charizard eats a plus one Rock Slide. There's no way any type of full HP defense Charizard's living through that. A plus one is too strong with Tarakion. Now the Superior's by itself. We go for the Flare Blitz. We see the Sash on the Superior. I think that's the correct item on Superior in this case scenario, too. I, I think Sash Superior is just a really strong Pokemon. Gives it a second shot if it was fast than, let's say, one of my Pokemon to potentially come back. But Superior is not strong enough to carry everything on its own. And we are going to pick up a four-turn victory with the Charizard Tarakion Psych Up Dragon Ants combo that is the bread and butter of this team. So, guys, thank you for watching these games. I have about three or four more videos for you all. Hope you guys enjoy them, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.